Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Direwolf 20 modded Minecraft 1.12 mod pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We're over here looking at our base, and it's a it's a mess. Look at this. Spread out all over the place. So today we're going to work on that. Let's get started with some compact machines. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have got tons of stuff. I've I've told you numerous times, we're just putting stuff down and then we're going to get back to, uh, I don't know, bring in some sort of order later. Well, later is now. So we're going to be working on compact machines. That's been something I've been working towards for quite some time. Of course, others on the server have already been playing with that mod. But when I saw that in the mod pack, I was like, we have got to try that out. We finally got what we need. We've got plenty of ender pearls right here, and we have got an iron bee that is producing like crazy. And uh, you remember that RF tools quarry that I ran uh, a couple episodes ago? Yeah, I put it all into here. And we've got 3,876 blocks of iron that we can tap into. So we're doing pretty well. The bees have gotten through their entire backlog. We've got nothing coming through there and all of these centrifuges are taking care of business like you wouldn't believe a couple things of note we've got some new bees here i need to showcase i got the draconic bee thinking that we could make draconium but no nope it just makes this draconic dust and what that does is eventually makes dragon eggs yeah who cares but hey it's something you can use dragon eggs for various things, so why not let it keep producing? Another thing on the bees, yes, we're going to get to the compact machines, don't you worry. But another thing with the bees is I've got this one right here, the Somnolent Queen. It says no flowers. This thing requires flowers, Batania. And look all around here what I've got. We've got Batania flowers all around. I've laid out a bunch here. And it says no flowers. So if you know about that one, why would this bee not recognize these flowers? Do let me know. And here's just a, an idea of the setup. We've got a planes emulation upgrade, light upgrade, lifespan upgrade. Uh-huh. So that we can split this into um, drones and princesses. And then Batani flowers. I don't know. But that's, that's where we're at there. So... Uh, the next order of business is to actually get into compact machines. What I want to do is start consolidating all of this stuff that I've got all around here into little machines. And the compact machines mod is pretty cool. You can you can do that. You can pack machines into these rooms that you then interact with like a block. So let's let's get started. We need to make something called the well. Let's just bring up compact machines. Now we've already got some blocks in here. I'll explain that in a little bit. So first, we're going to need a personal shrinking device. We're actually going to need two of them because we need one for a recipe and one for us. Okay. And then what we're going to need is miniaturization field projectors. And that's where the other personal shrinking device comes into play. We do need an eye of ender. Do we have any in the system? No, we don't. So let's do that real quick like so and then we'll make a set of four of these you need four okay and then we're gonna need a lever let's do this oh it just used the same one. Oh, i see okay it's kind of like a bucket when you when you need buckets of water in recipes that's cool i i didn't know that no levers okay so let's just make one Okay, we need a lever, and uh, we're, we're going to get these all of these compact machine walls out. You may be wondering, how in the world did you get those? Well, uh, this mod happens to throw out these unfinished compact machines all around the world, and I've managed to find two of them and grab those. I found two of them out and about on my journey. So uh, for, for our purposes here, what we need is we're going to, I just need to show you this, so Let's grab some of that and some of that. Now we need to find a suitable location for 
our our miniaturization efforts. We didn't need that many. So let's do that. Let's just get one stack of block of quartz because we do want to make this. No, we don't want to do that. Let's do that and grab some. Uh, do we have any basalt in here? Let's let's take a look here. We've got some big tile salt. Okay, we can do that. And then let's grab a shovel, or not a shovel, a chisel as well, just in case. And we'll grab just a stack of the regular basalt there. And we've got our compact machine walls. Don't worry, we'll get to that. What else we need? Oh, um, uh, what I want to do is make, let's do compact. We will need to make a tunnel, and so that means we need a hopper. Yeah? Yeah, we need a hopper. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We'll make we'll make a few of those. And we got plenty of redstone, and we'll also do some uh into pearls and then block of emerald. Need one of those. Okay. All right, now I think we're ready. So let's come over here to our area right there. Okay. We need an area that is rather large. And so I've got this nice big area here and that's kind of planned out like that. That's why we did that. And I got rid of, no, we've got the basalt here. So what I want to do is go up one, two, three, four, five, and we'll see how that goes. And we'll put that there. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. How many does that leave in place? We need to put one right there. Now let's move this back a little bit. Uh, okay. So there is, what I need to do is I need to make a really large machine and we're going to need a decent amount of space for that. So let's do maybe right, right here. Okay. And we'll go up. So the way this thing works is you build this field projector area. You need four of these things. And this is telling me exactly where I need to be putting the field projectors. Okay. So we go, oh, it, it left me. Let's come over here. Right click. Okay. And then what one off from that? Nope. Right there. Okay. And then we will just tear this part down and we should be able to say, no, no, no. You come back here and then you build these massive structures in between here and then throw in, throw in a missing opposite field it's required to determine Okay, so then we need another one. How many is that? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27. That's too big. It's way too big. It's supposed to be telling me where these things go. I'm thinking maybe we put one right here. Let's do that. No, that's too low. Yeah? Yeah, that's too low. Need it one higher. And we'll see how large of an area we can throw in there. Let's see. one, two, three, four. We did four high there. And then how many do we do here? One, two, three, four. Oh, that's why. So let's just tear this guy down and see if that gives us what we want. I want to get the largest possible machine here do that and we need another couple right here and let's do this again one more right click okay and that points out exactly where you need to go yeah right there okay and then that should invalid field and block so we need to get rid of all of those Okay, 
that gives us a rather large area. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's take a look here in JEI and go at compact. And we're gonna go with maximum compact machine. Okay. Well, let's just see what this does. We need 98 of these compact. It needs a block of emerald in the middle. Okay. Five by five, a block of emerald in the middle. Does, I wonder if it matters where that goes. So let's just try this out and see if this is the case. One, two, or five. Okay. I'm thinking that the math may be off on this thing, but I could be wrong. That's five, right? Okay. And then we build this thing up. And perhaps I should have brought my builder's wand. And the, that orange area tells you where you can put, put these items. And it's rather dark in here. Let's do this and then let's bring the block of emerald right like that. Okay. And we'll go across the top here. And then, uh, so once you fill this in, what should happen, knock on wood, is you throw it in into pearl and then it turns it into a machine. Okay, so we've got that. And then we will do that. Okay, and you see it miniaturizing the thing. Okay. And we'll see if this actually works. I don't know how long it takes for the... And maybe this is the maximum. I don't know. And if you ever want to get rid of that shiny area in the middle where it's it's telling you where to place everything what you do is you just put a lever on there okay so we got yeah that's the maximum compact machine and so now we can turn that off good okay so if you don't want to be rendering that that's that's something you can do okay now the next order of business i need to show you how to make these compact machine walls since you haven't seen that what you do is you take a block of iron and put a dot of redstone in it. I believe you throw a, dot, a piece of redstone in there. Okay, and that's just going to make how many? I don't, I don't know how many. Let's see. Oh, it gave me 16. Wow. So I did not actually need that much iron. Okay, well, that's good to know anyway. What we now need to do is make one of those tunnels. And so we will do this. And put a hopper on top and redstone all around, like so. And then what does this one require as it's, oh, it's just a dot of redstone. So we chuck that in there. And I really need to go around and start cave lighting, but oh, why bother right now? We are working on actually miniaturizing things. There we go. Okay, so I've got a tunnel and that's a good thing. All right, so... Now what I want to do is bring F4 back up and we will put down some torches because I don't want to deal with mobs down here. And we'll just take those out when it's time for making a new machine. Let's get rid of F4 and let's go upstairs. All right, it is nighttime. Awesome. Let's come over here and what we will do is play around with this a little bit, okay? Sleep, sleep. I'm the only one on the server. Um, and I think, well, JD was on earlier, but we both got kicked around the same time. And I'm not sure why the server just decided to have a little hiccup or something. Now what I want to do is I want to close all of that and let's get rid of the chisel and the basalt and the iron and into pearl. Okay. Now what we need to do is... Uh, what's our power situation like? I want to I want to show you how to do some of this whole process here. So maybe what we do is grab. I want to grab this. 
right? Okay. And what we'll do is get some get some item ducts. Do we have any? I hope we do. Got a little bit. That's fine. And then servo maybe. We'll do that. Okay. And we're going to grab um some oh we do need one piece of eulorium and some of that and what we'll do is take our maximum compact machine and we will set it down right here okay right that, look at that so nothing too too interesting here okay and then what we next want to do is say uh, I want to be receiving stuff from this side. So what side are we on? Do we Can we bring up F3? Yes. Um, which direction is that? We are looking facing west. So let's just try that. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Do you remember? Facing west. And we've got our forge lexicon. Where did it go? There it is. Our lexical transmuter. All right, so you take your personal shrinking device and you right click on this thing and you get transported into a big box. And is this 15 by 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, yes, 13 internal, 15. Okay, I get it. All right, now the tunnel, what we need to do is put it on one of these walls and I just want to play around with this. I don't know if we can remove the tunnel later, but it's worth a try. So let's just do this right here. Okay. That's going down, up, north, south, west. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take our lexical transmuter and put that right here. Okay. And then we should be able to say item duct good and do we need to put a servo on here i don't know let's let's just try let's just do this we're gonna play around okay we'll do that and then we'll do another one of these um save right here and we'll put this on the east side okay and do I have enough item ducts? Yes. Okay. And then we'll take hardened servo, pull that out of there. And then here, put the Yalorium ingot. Good. Okay. Here, ignored. Here, ignored. Okay. So hopefully, what we will see once we right click, okay, we'll come back over here and let's grab a couple of uh we'll get some chests here just a couple here and then some item ducts see if we can get okay so we got one there let's get a regular one right like that oh that's the i want the opaque one i don't care for the transparent ones because i don't know they just seem like they would cause issues, um, that cause rendering issues in particular. So let's grab that. We want a couple of those and just see what happens. Okay. So I should be able to say that and that, and that put an item duct there and there, and we'll do hardened servo there, ignore, and then hardened servo there, ignore. And what we should be able to see is when we throw uranium ingots in there, it should be going through, going into our compact machine. Something's happening. Yes, it is. Okay, so you see the process there? It grabbed the items from this chest, went into that face that we set up with the tunnel, and then moved them all through here. And so now we have a machine of course, we had a machine earlier. This is just a interface around the lexical transmuter, but think of what you can do with this. Okay. Are you with me? 
yeah i'm pretty excited about this what we're going to do now is go off camera for a bit and i am going to rearrange this compact machine and i will show you what we're going to do with it well i've taken out that machine that we had in here earlier and now i i'm gonna show you what i've done but before that let me ask you a question do you ever get to maybe even the middle of a project and wonder should i even have done this <laughs> oh look at that isn't that awesome oh man we've got packed ice and eulorium and then in between each of those yep thermoelectric generators i've been wanting to do this for quite some time and we've got yes our tools power cells in each one so we're not using we're not using the flux ducts no we are actually going directly into the power cell network yep we've got 88 of these guys now i made a whole stack of them we didn't end up needing a whole stack, but hey, why not? It's good to have the power around. So the most we have available in our network now is 88 million RF. It's still nothing. It's it's nothing like we're going to be doing draconic evolution at all. But hey, this is a start. And this is now inside a machine that I don't have to clutter up my base with. And so... We can come over here, back to our base. Okay, we'll let everything load in and a little framiness. Okay, and I have cleaned out this area right here, just filling in the dirt, and it is growing into grass right now. But, but yeah, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting indeed. And so we've now got, yep, a cool 88 million, and I don't know how many of those thermoelectric generators there are, but there's 41 RF a tick coming in from each one. So that's pretty cool. Another little thing of note here, you can see the whole thing uh, when you right click on the machine itself. So you see that uh, you get a little 3D model of it and it just rotates around so you can see all of the items in there. That's pretty cool. All right. so. Next order of business, we need to sleep and then we're also going to go grab some propolis, okay, because I am going to show you something that Original Junior has done on our close to spawn. So let's do this and then we will go to spawn right after sleeping and we can go to spawn uh, like this, just spawn, boop, okay. And then we'll come over here. All right. So you can see that we've got a little bit of a pathway right here. And then if you look up, you have a Taurus that is having a hard time loading in. So there we go. You can see a little bit of all of the machinery that's back here. But let's, let's experience this as Original Junior intended us to experience it. So we walk down this hallway here. What could be up there? Let's go take a look. Why would I be bringing Propolis over? It's because we've got something called Fog Mart. That's right, Fog Mart. I don't know why it's called Fog Mart, F-O-G. I don't know. I don't know if Original even mentioned that. Maybe it's something from his streams, but you can come in here and he's got a bunch of trade mats going and you trade these iron coins from Thermal Foundation for various items. So. Uh, the way to get iron coins, if we go here, we just throw in some propolis and we get our iron coins. And I'm going to get, oh, so an iron coin for a stack of dimensional shards. Sure. Okay. That's good. Excellent. I didn't even have to mine it. That's pretty cool. Stone. Okay, most of the rest of this stuff I'm fine on. We've got a B for that, but there's no B for dimensional shard ore. And there's no B for uh, draconic or draconium ingots. So let's just do that. And then something else that um, given given this price right here. So original, I hope you're watching, but if, if you aren't, I'll let you know on Discord. But I think five propolis for one iron coin is probably a bit light 
given the prices of this stuff, one coin for a nether star. Now I'm not, I'm not going to take advantage too much here, but I'm going to grab one nether star. We're not going to do that that often. That's too low of a price, too low of a price for, for those, uh, for, for these, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Five propolis. It, I don't know. So the jury is still out. So if you guys know about propolis and bees and all the rest of this stuff, let me know. What, what do you think? Is five propolis for one iron coin too low? I think it's too low given that stuff over there. Perhaps if you did, um, I don't know, some other coin over here. There's, how many coins does thermal foundation have at thermal coin okay so there's some other coins here gold copper tin platinum how about that platinum so something for a platinum coin and and yeah I, that's a pretty expensive material there to get uh well i don't know we're we're not actually making the coins original to have to make the coins but yeah, I don't know. Let, let me know what you think. Is what's a fair trade for another star? This is this is too cheap. Five propolis for another star. Yeah. Anyway, I, I do want some more dimensional shard ore though. I, I think that's cool. Okay. So we'll get four stacks of that. And yeah, we'll just go with that. That's gonna let us infuse some stuff. But we can now head back to uh back to base. And we will go use the spongiary, as he's calling it. And we'll go up here and then click that. Excellent. Excellent. So we're back home. So let me know what you think. I, I had a fun time. We're playing with the uh, compact machines now. And one of the things we're going to be doing off camera is consolidating. I told you I was going to consolidate. This is the way we're going to do it right here. I, I don't want to use our, our area down there. We're even going to move our diesel generator into a compact machine and then maybe even some of those. But I don't know that we're necessarily going to be doing that um, on camera. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. You let me know what you think. We've got some other plans for the next episode. So you let me know what you think. If you want to see some of the moving of machines into compact machines, let me know. But uh, let's let's go in here, shall we? Uh, actually, chuck this stuff in here, and then we've even got some iron coins hanging out, and we got our personal shrinking device. Let's come over here to the scene of the crime, if you will. All right, back up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated, and if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel continue the conversation hit me up on discord in the link down in the description box below that's gonna be it for now thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye bye